boys, we're off again. Yep, back onto the King of the Flayed Hills for our second match of today. Of course, you are once again watching the Sack Attack VIP matches with Imagine. That is myself and Heldigris. Heldy going into our second match. Going to be another 4v4. And of course, for those of you who do not know what the Sack Attack matches are, you do have to name a ship on your team with VIP. Your job then is to have... Uh, you kill the other team's VIP uh, in a 5v4, on a 4v4, we have to kill them five times. And, or you have to have your VIP ship kill each of the other team's ships once each. Alright, let's see, what do we have here? On the VIP AA-12 hero, we've got Lazy and as Captain Matt. Here Midian with a Gatling Mortar up front again with a Banshee Flare Gun on the side on the Kanabo. We've got that uh, Flamethrower and a Carronade for a Maxim Del Vecchio with a uh, Artemis and a Flurgan on the side on the uh, that is once again Calamity Jane of course with that heavy black Spire Richard the Moon flying it We've also got a uh, Mine Launcher a Hades and an Artemis on the, on the nothing but fog we once again got a Blender Fish that heavy carry now front with Master Disaster using that harpoon on the side and a flamethrower on the other side. What's on the blue team? Starting with the VIP Abyss, we, which is a Junker and it's piloted by Nietzsche Mustache. So they've switched their the mobile as we talked about. It's a double Armai on the right side with an Armai on the front and it's a Gatling Flamer on the left side. The next ship up is a uh, Pyramidian and it's piloted by uh, Rigato. It's called Purple Haze and it is a Hades flag with a Banshee Mine Launcher on the side. And for the uh, third ship, which is a uh, Junker yet again, it's called the Jethro and it's powered by a Zero Elfer. We have double Mercs on the right side. We have a Gatling Gun on the front and we have a Flamer Carnate on the side. And for the last ship, which is a Galleon, piloted by Sliced and Diced, and it's called the Lancer. It has a lovely watch of uh, Carnade on the one side, and a heavy flak and a lumberjack on the left side. And up top there, there's a Mercury. So that's a long range junk, uh, Galleon with a short range uh, right side. And off we go. Yep. So once again, got a little bit of. Uh... Do a little bit of posturing here on this map as the two teams kind of figure out where they want to go. Looks like Blue is going to just hang out. You know, I just noticed. When did this get added? There's a little marker for where you are on the map as spectator. Yeah, I think it must be the uh, the previous patch. It's it's kind of nice now though. So now you can actually know. Yeah, where you can actually know where you are located in relation to everybody else. It's not bad. Uh, so of course, Blue team it looks like is getting set up on this side over. Here, red team on the other. Calamity Chain is just absolutely separated from his entire team, and they're just going. I mean, I I don't think these red ships could be further apart, really, while still going in the same general direction. It's a really kind of interesting setup there. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure if this was a plan thing or if Richard Lemoon just likes going to that side. I. What do you think about this? I think they might have set up it. Uh, set it up for an ambush. Because it is a heavy flak on that spire, so they might just do some extra damage and try a flak, looks a bit like. Yep. Alright, so Calamity Jane looks like he's still spotted, though, so the blue team does know where this is all coming from. Although, I... You know, there must be something, because I'm showing... Okay, on the minimap, I'm not showing anybody spotted, but on my screen, I show everybody spotted. Uh... See the same. I think it's a bit weird. So, but yeah, I, I think, think that must be some sort of bug. spots because they're hugging the wall now, so they cannot be spotted. Yeah, I, I think uh, you know that's that's one that I'm gonna have to put on the forums. Uh, anywho, I think there's nobody spotted currently. It's gonna be a little bit harder to tell. Uh, it looks like there's one blue ship spotted. I think it's the purple like haze. It's the, Purple Haze, yeah. So it's probably Calamity Jane spotting that. Now, the Calamity Jane could have been spotted. Maybe. No, you know what? I think they came 
through a cloud high enough and into another cloud that uh, I don't think they're getting spotted at all here. So they are setting up a little bit of a flanking maneuver here. Looks like purple haze is they going for some spots here now. Yep, they're going to turn around the side and say, Hi, all red ships. Well, that at least three of the red ships. They, of course, don't know where that spire is at all. But uh, now blue team knows what the jig is, knows where red team has been hanging out. And blue haze is going to get take a few shots. Or purple haze. <laughs> it's a blue ship, so I called it blue haze. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. Purple Haze, of course, now going to come on in and return fire here. They do take a minimal amount of uh, armor damage, but nothing really permanent. Cannibal going to come out, charging right at Jethro, and I think the fight has begun, and the fight that's going to determine who's going to win this game because this fight will never stop. Nothing but fog. Looks like he's going to go after Lancer. In the meantime, Calamity Jane is actually coming all the way in and is getting some nice shots off onto the Abyss. But uh, AA 12, 12 Hero, hero. Just Yep. Killed Purple Haze. Yep, using that Gatling Mortar up front to full effect. So that is a first sweep kill for AA-12 Hero Calamity Jane. Riding on the Abyss. And uh, Blue Team has just gotten absolutely ambushed here. Nothing but Fog looks like he was just going to try to take care of Lancer. And VIP Abyss just gets annihilated by these three red ships. And Lancer couldn't really help at all. And yeah, all... All of the blue ships are about to die. There we go. But then the AA-12, he got the VIP ship as well, so he has two sweeps. Left. We'll see if they manage to give him the fast trust well. Yeah, they, uh, they sh hopefully they'll be smart enough to hold off on their fire. On the land here comes. Will they get the kill? Yes, they do. Yes, so that is three ships. Is that three ships that quickly? That's three ships that quickly. My god, uh, this might be one of the quickest games I've seen A 4v4. Man, that's crazy. Alright, it's so 12 hero coming up on Purple Haze. Purple Haze not going to matter too much here. The only thing you can really do is just try to get some minimal damage off. But considering he's got long range guns and 12 hero is right up in their face, this is not going to go well, very well for Purple Haze. Pops Hydra to get out there, but I don't think that will do. Yep, yeah, just trying to move on out of here. We'll get shot down. There goes that heavy flak shot from the Calamity Jane, taking him down once more. But once again, that ship and that kill really doesn't matter. And I think at this point, Blue might just try to gather themselves back up. Yep, there you go. Abyss and Lancer getting back together in their own area. And I'm going to try to make another go of it as that first engagement just, uh, well, let's say went about as bad as it can get. Well... They rushed in and then they left the uh, AA-12 o'clock, or AA-12 hero, just alone to do his damage without interruption. So. And, I mean, look at it. They, they took care of all that and just very, like, what? That's less than half damage done to nothing but fog, and that's the only thing that's happened. Yep, that was a quick zerg, I would uh, say. Yes, a very good setup there. That uh, flank by Calamity Jane definitely worked. As he was basically able to come in and distract Jethro, or uh, I think it's actually, sorry, the VIP Abyss it actually got some shots off on it immediately, so he had to protect himself. It doesn't look like the double junker setup of the blue team here is going to be doing very well against all this kill potential from red side. It's a bit hard, yeah. But the other ship, if you look at them, they have one disabled, don't they? Or there no, there are two disables and two kill ships. The the red the blue team? No, the red team. They got the cannibal and the nothing but fog to disable and the two others just to kill. Yeah. Pretty good mix of the two. You know, unsure if that was planned or if just kinda happened to being, but it's good to get a little bit of a mix of them, although considering how fast they've killed in it everybody, it's uh the, the disables haven't really played a huge part of this so far. All right, so a little bit of posturing going on here once again. Calamity Jane, nothing but fog coming in. Definitely looks like a little bit of flanky maneuver trying to happen here. Now, this is probably the worst spot to be as a spire because if you got your balloon pop right now, you'd pretty much just die. 
Oh, and Lemonjoy actually, on the roll. yeah, actually runs into the terrain here and takes a little bit of damage. But uh, that's actually going to slow them down enough to where the twelve heroes. Trying to rush on in here, and I think the Jethro... Is that the last kill that they need? Is that what you said? Yeah, they need Jethro to win the match. Uh, it's not going to go very well as 12 Hero just gets absolutely slaughtered here. There and VIP Abyss actually picks up that kill too, so that is a double uh, good thing for them. And really, that was made all possible by the Calamity Jane taking a little bit of a bump up on top of that ledge. Killing all momentum, and that led the flank to be mistimed, and uh, and that was it. That's that's a VIP kill for blue, or yeah, yeah for blue. But Cannibal might just take down Abyss right here, right now. Yeah, and there he goes. Nothing they, more fog killed uh, Abyss. Yeah, there with a ram. Yeah, I mean at, at this point it really didn't matter which one of them got it, as long as they got that kill. So they do manage to salvage it a little bit. They could have picked up the win there if, of course, the uh, 12 hero would have been able to kill Jethro, but instead, the uh, the 12 hero is the one that goes down first. Lancer and Calamity Jane working off at each other. Lancer's taking a worse beating here, getting knocked down to the ground. That heavy flak, oh my god, that heavy flak hit the balloon, and now, okay, the next one goes into the body, and they almost died off right there. Jethro might just end up killing the Calamity Jane. Uh, or it looks like mm, Purple Haze does so, but uh, this is kind of just a cleanup duty here. There's there's no real uh, permanent or good damage going out on ships that you need it to, except for right now with the 12 hero just bearing down on Jethro. This is the kill that they need. They're going to stick right on him, and here's the question. Can Jethro escape here out of the clutches of the 12 hero? Nothing, uh, but nothing but fog, fog. is here now, and we'll see balloon pops, and here we go. It's oh, the and they do get it. Jethro gets taken down by 12 hero. And was that, is that it? I think that's it, right? That's, yeah, that's a GG. Yep, that's GG. So Jethro just took a little bit too long there. Didn't have any backup either, and that allowed 12 hero to rush back into this fight. It's a great job by them. Spawning in a place they, they were actually going to have a little bit of a tough time. If they didn't get there quick enough because the VIP Abyss had gone up right behind him but too little too late and red team will get this win so uh that is a great job by red team to bring this back to it when we tie yep